Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rob, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Pixel Press, the creators of Voxels, and today I wanted to do something a little bit fun. Like you guys, I'm stuck at home, and I thought today I would pull out the Makey Makey, see what's inside, and see what we can do with Voxels. Let's check it out. Inside the box, you'll find a couple different things. You'll find the circuit board itself, which is an Arduino-powered circuit board that acts as a keyboard. So it's not really like a mouse or even a controller, even though it kind of looks like one. It's actually like a keyboard on your uh, computer. So it has a couple different pieces to it. You can kind of ignore the back. And the front, you have your D-pad, NES style, with an action button and a jump button. You also have your ground down here, your earth. And that is what's going to complete the circuit. When you're building a circuit like this, you have to start on one end and get the electrons to flow through something into the other end. So if you imagine I am the through something, I'll hold the earth and then I can touch these guys. So the electrical flow has to go through me and to these guys. Inside the box, you also have a USB cable. Plug this into your computer. Keep in mind, because we need to plug into a computer, this is only gonna work on the web. We have two web addresses that you could go to, arcade.bloxels.co, we'll put that in the description. And then we also have the builder at build.bloxels.co. This guy is gonna work on either one of those. We have the alligator clips. We have jumper cables in the box, but we're not actually gonna use this today because we're gonna stay really, really simple with this guy. We're not actually associated with Makey and Makey in any way. We just really like the products. So we thought, why not break out something that we already had and put it to use and try to get it to work with Bloxels in a weird, interesting way. Let's get some controller supplies. You're gonna need some tape, maybe something like a banana. We can try a pack of gum. And then I got uh, Wreck-It Ralph here, so we could try him. Fist bump. I'm gonna need a dongle here for my USB cable, but I'll just plug this into my laptop. I really enjoy Tiny Wizard Bomber in the arcade. It's currently in the featured section. You should check it out. We hook up the Makey Makey, make sure it lights up. You get some lights that flash on it. If I immediately start trying to press the buttons and jump around, it's not gonna work. You have to be grounded. You have to be touching this earth piece down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna set my finger on that and start pushing these buttons. And yep, it works. Let's dig into setting this up and actually getting it working with your Bloxels game. Okay, let's set up our workspace. We'll put some cool stuff in for good measure. Make sure we have our Makey Makey and our alligator clips. And then go to makeymakey.com slash remap. We're gonna pick Makey Makey Classic. Make sure you have the latest version and then hit start. Once you're in there, it's gonna ask you to attach the alligator clips like this. Up to down, left to right. Go ahead and hook that up the way it says. Then we're gonna take our USB cable, plug it into the Makey Makey, and then plug it into the computer. It should read it. And if it does, success. Unplug everything the way it says. And now you're presented with this screen. Here, we're gonna use the Makey Makey and the arrows to move through the different buttons. Hold the ground and push the arrows to get over to the keyboard. Once you're down at the keyboard, we're gonna go up to the tab button and assign that to the action button instead of the click. Hit save, confirm, and success, rock on. I'm gonna to go to the arcade and pick out a game. As I said, I like Tiny Wizard Bomber. Go ahead and hit start and go in. Now, we're gonna use the Makey Makey. Make sure it is hooked up correctly. Make sure it's plugged in and start playing. Well, nothing happens. Why is that? You're not touching the earth panel at the bottom. You need to be touching this because it is the ground. While at the same time, you're using the D-pad and the buttons. For now, I'm gonna fake it and rest my finger on the earth panel while I'm using the buttons. And it works, awesome, we've got it hooked up. I can run, I can jump, I can throw my bombs, shoot my magic, destroy enemies, and play Bloxels. Pretty cool. This is just a basic setup though. I don't wanna to have to hold my finger on the earth panel the whole time that I'm playing. So we're gonna plug in an alligator clip, and then we've gotta get it to touch us somehow. 
we need the alligator clip touching the earth panel as well as the other side touching our skin. So we need this metal piece right here touching our hand somehow. You could try just clamping it, but that might not feel good. So I'm going to take some tape and tape it to myself. There are probably better, smarter ways to do this, but this is going to work for our purposes. Make sure it's on there nice and tight and they have contact with your skin. All right. What else can we do? Well, the Makey Makey is intended to plug various items into the various buttons and the D-pad to get it to work. So we're going to take our banana, our Starburst pack. I have no idea if this is going to work. And Wreck-It Ralph, my favorite, fist bump. Make sure you attach the ground or the earth so that you can hold it or tape it to yourself again. We are going to attach an alligator clip to the right arrow on the D-pad as well as the banana. So the banana should control movement to the right. We're also going to hook up Wreck-It Ralph and the Starburst pack. When you touch the banana, look at that. I'm moving to the right. Awesome. When I touch the gum pack, nothing happens. But if I touch the electrode, it works. Why is that? Well, the gum pack and Wreck-It Ralph do not conduct enough electricity. So you're gonna have to experiment with stuff around the house. Experiment and have fun. All right, everybody, thanks a bunch. As you can see, Makey Makey does work with Bloxels with a little bit of tweaking, but we got it working and it's pretty cool. I would suggest picking up random stuff around your house like other bananas and oranges and I don't know, a stuffed animal. See what's conductive, see what has that electrical impulse and see what you can get to work with the Makey Makey and Bloxels. Makey Makey and Bloxels, that's a pretty fun pair up. What other kind of pair ups and cool stuff would you like to see us do? Give us a comment, let us know what other cool stuff you'd like to see. Subscribe so that you're aware of other new videos that we come out with and give us a like so that, you know, you're just nice. Make sure to check out the description below for other cool links and stuff. And make sure to check out our online properties at build.bloxes.co or arcade.bloxes.co. We really appreciate you guys stopping by and until next time, we'll see ya. Thanks.